Hey guys, what's going on? It's Joseph San Jose here. I've had a rare, beautiful day, so I decided to go out, shoot, say hi. It's been a while since I've given an update. First of all, can you believe it's almost been a year since I started releasing music? That's right, on January 25th last year, that's when I released A Thousand Upper Rooms, if you guys remember that song. I've since released my whole EP, like a remix of A Thousand Upper Rooms, so stay tuned for the anniversary of my first song, January 25th, which is coming up in just two weeks. I, I'm cooking up something special for that anniversary, so if you want to be the first to see that, check out, you can sign up for the email list below and join the Upper Roomies. What's the Upper Roomies? Well, it's what I call my email list, but it's kind of like, if you like my music, if you like the Thousand Upper Rooms, then you can be an Upper Roomie. Yeah, again, it's been this kind of rare, nice day in Vancouver. We've seen everything from atmospheric rivers to snowfall over two weeks, freezing rain, sleet. I went for a run yesterday and it was soaking wet, but now it's beautiful. But what else has been new? Well, one of my goals this year, you guys, is I want to release four new songs this year. I've got a full-time job, I've got a family, I've got two kids. There's a lot of things going on. I volunteer at my church quite a bit, so, but I know that art and music is something that I'm really passionate, really serious about. It's something that I want to continue. And so my goal this year is to write, release, promote four new songs. And the first song that's coming out, I'm really excited to tell you about, is called Nowhere Without You. It's a song that I co-wrote with my friend Mona, who's gonna be releasing music under Mona Therese. You can check her out, I'll put the links in the description below to her YouTube and all sorts of things like that. This will be her first release. This will be my seventh release, my seventh single. And we're really excited. We wrote this song, not this past summer, but the summer before. A bit of a stab in a different direction for me, musically, sonically, but it aligns with the kind of music that I love and the kind of music that I want to be writing. But it is different, so I hope you like it. But it comes out February 11th, and you can pre-save the song below. And what a pre-save does is it um, collects your email address so you can join the Upper Roomies that way. As soon as the song comes out, you do get notified. And the more people pre-save, the more it signals to Spotify that this is a song worth listening to. So if we get 100 people pre-saving this song, even more, and people listen to it on the first day, that kind of tells the Spotify algorithm that more people need to hear this. So Spotify will actually make the song go, go wider. So we're praying for the release. Again, our desire is that the heart of the song would reach people, not because we want big numbers, but because we really believe that this song came out of our own prayer in a particular difficult season. And uh, it, we believe that the way this song has helped Mona and I come out of a very difficult season, we believe that this song can do that for others as well. Another one of my goals this year is to run a half marathon. So I'm running a half marathon with a friend of mine in May, and uh, so I've been training for it. Right now I'm actually just testing my shoes because I accidentally left my shoes near a heater and parts of the shoe melted. So I'm like, oh man, do I need to buy a new pair of shoes? So, but I've been training for a half marathon. So that's one of my goals. Release four songs, run a half marathon. Not release one song and run four half marathons because that would be crazy. One other update, somewhat related to my song releases is for the second time, I've applied to the Bethel Songwriting Practicum. What is the Bethel Songwriting Practicum? Well, it's like a three day experience in Nashville where you get to go and learn from the best songwriters in the industry. Nashville, as you know, is like one of the places where it's kind of the hub of songwriting for worship music industry and things like that. And Bethel's written in a lot of amazing songs. They have such an amazing collective. And so they're actually putting together like a three-day songwriting practicum where I'll get to kind of disciple a little bit under some of the best songwriters, um, spend time with other songwriters. They're only accepting 50 people. I applied last year to do it in the fall and I didn't get in, but I was, but I got an email saying you should apply again. So I applied again and I submitted some new songs. So I'm praying, I'll find out in the next few weeks if I get in, pray with me that I get in and you'll be the first to find out if I get it. If I don't, I'll be a little sad, but I trust in the Lord that he's taking care of me. But uh, yeah, pray for me. I'll be praying for you, but yeah, stay tuned. There's gonna be a lot more content coming through this YouTube channel the next few months, promoting our new song, Nowhere Without You. If you want to find out about how to plays or the story behind the song, the production, the songwriting, even just some explorations around the topic that the song is talking about. Um, make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel. Make sure you hit the like button so you, and make sure you get hit the bell button so you get notified. Uh, we're really excited about this song, really excited about music. And again, the mission is to help people pray. So stay tuned for things that help you pray. My desire is really like, what can I do to add value into your spiritual life? Wherever you are in this spectrum, whether you're Christian, Catholic, not Christian, if you just desire to have God in your life, and to spend time with God, that's what I want to help you do. So things are coming down the pipeline to, to do just that. But if there's anything you want to see, anything you're personally looking forward to, make sure you write it in the chat. I will answer every comment 
But I'm excited about this year. Hope you are too. God bless you. Love you lots. Bye-bye.